Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video. Today we are going to talk about a very special class called the J component class. So in Java GUI Swing, a J component class is the base class of all switch components except uh, top level components. Swing components classes that begin with uh, J are all descendants or they all inherit from the J component class. For example, the J button class, the J scroll pane, J panel and J table, uh, classes that we've seen in the previous videos, all are dependent or uh, descendant of the J component class. But classes like J frame and J dialog do not necessarily inherit from the J component class because they belong to top level containers. So in this video, I'm going to briefly talk to you about the J component class and see how it works in Java GUI. So first of all, we're going to start by writing here that this class test hub extends or inherits from the J component like this. So let me import the J component class. And in here, I'm going to write public void paint graphics G. What I need to do is to import the graphics class. And I'm going to say G that set color, color that blue, then semicolon, import the color class. And I will say G that feel correct. So this is going to create a rectangle and it's going to fill it with color blue. I will say width 150. Height will also be 150 like this. So now here in the main method, I'm going to create a J component object. So since test app is inheriting from J component, so I'm going to say test app, I'll call it component new test app like this, and then semicolon. So now I need to create a frame. So I'm going to say J frame. This is just going to be a basic frame that I will create here. J frame, frame, new J frame, and I'm going to call it my frame. So that's the text. I'm setting to my frame, import the JFrame class, and I can set the size of the frame. So I'll say set size 500, 500, and frame. I'll set default close operation JFrame that exit and close. Uh, I can also say frame that set location relative to null. And um, I would say frame that set visible will be true as well. So this is going to make sure that the frame will appear. Let's run this and see what will happen. So now I have a frame. So how can we make sure that to appear? How can you make that this particular rectangle that we have created using the graphics here to appear on the frame? Okay, so we're going to use this component. So this component is actually being created using the test app class and the test app class is inheriting from the J component. And inside the class, we have this method that we've created that is going to help us to actually create an instance of that J component. So what I'm going to do here, I'm simply going to say that frame that add component like this and then semicolon so that when I run, now you can see the rectangle showing. I say J set color, color red, J dot fill oval. So 190, 150, and 150 here. So now when we run, so we can have the rectangular and then a circle here. Or well, we can add another set color green and J fill, we can say fill arc. So I'll say 340, 400. 150 so zero arc angle will be 180 like this now let me run so there we have our arc all of this is happening because this particular method we are using it in this class test app and that test app is inheriting from a j component and when we're creating this component here so it's definitely going to use this particular class. And when we add it to the com to the frame, so we're saying component here. So that's why we could have all these 2D graphics on the screen like this. All right. So I hope this video was informative and um, please don't forget to like, to share and comment, subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Let's meet in the next one.